Hi guys, in this video we'll see how we can apply the parallel coordinate system for solving such types of problem. So if you look over here, you'll see some concepts related to the polar coordinate system that means how we evaluate the velocity and the acceleration and related to the given equations and then systems here. Now let's see the mechanisms of this system with simulation. If you look over here, this system contains crank AC which revolves in the circular way and then it has the slotted link which will rotate about the point of and the road in and out in that slot. Now let's see the example. So it is stated that pin A moves in a circle of 90 mm radius as a crank AC revolves at a constant rate beta delta which is 60 right per second and the slot link rotates about point O at the road attached to A moves in and out of the slot. For the position beta equals to 30 degree determine r dot r double dot theta dot and then theta double dot so uh, let's try to apply the polar coordinate system for solving this example for solving this problem let's start with the given part so given is so beta is given as 30 degree because the equation is asked at the position when the angle beta reached at 30 degree and then beta dot is also given as 60 rad for each second and then it is constant and then the other one the geometry is given from the figure so you can refer everything on it and then the required part is here the required is r dot R double dot theta dot and theta double dot those parameters are required for solving here once we have this now let's try to solve this one now for solving the r dot r double dot theta dot and theta double dot we have to apply the polar coordinate system but for solving that first we have to know about the velocities of the particle a for each component, that means in the components of in the r direction and the in the theta direction, as well as the accelerations of the particle on that direction. So we have to evaluate it first. First of all, for this position, let's apply the cosine rule for solving the position r dimensions here. From the cosine law, we know that if this is a given angle beta and then if this length is, is a and this one is b the required length is r if we have such types of triangle we can apply cosine law by using this angle beta for correlating r a and b that means in this case a is known b is known the unknown parameter here is r so we can evaluate it so a is 300 it's given in millimeter and then b is given as 90 millimeter so r square is equals to when we apply cosine law r square is equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b cos angle the angle is beta cos beta that means r square will be equals to 300 squared plus 90 squared minus 2 times 300 times 90 times cos 30 degree and then finally it will become equals to 51,000 334 millimeter squared that means r will be the under radical of this one that means if we both under radical it and then this one under radical it so finally we'll get that 
R will become 226.6 millimeter. And then for, for the ease of our calculation, let's evaluate theta again. Now we can apply a sine law to get the angle theta. That means we know that from the previous sine law, sine theta over the opposite side, that means the opposite side in this case is B is equals to sine beta over the opposite side of beta is R. That means sine theta is equals to B times sine beta over R. If you substitute the numerical values, you can get that B is now 90 times sine beta is 30 degree and then R is calculated here. That means this is 226.6. So once we substitute the numerical values, we'll get sine theta is equal to 0 0.199. And then theta will become sine inverse of this number. And then finally, theta becomes 11.46 degree. Once we have this, we know that velocity of point A is equal to radius of curvature rho times beta dot. So the radius of curvature is equals to the length from point A up to point C times beta dot, which is 90 millimeter times 60 rad per second. And then it will give us 5400 millimeter per second. And then it is equivalent to 5.4 meter per second. Once we have this value, we can decompose it into the ER and E theta direction, then we'll get this component on that direction. Now let's do that one now. Now if this is the horizontal line, and if this is the line which is in the directions of ER, and then if this one is in the directions of e theta, which is perpendicular to er, and if this part is at an angle beta, and then this one is in now theta. Once we have this value, we have a horizontal line here too. So if this is theta, then it will become also theta now. And then we know that the velocity is always tangent to the curve, and then it will be in this direction. So this is the velocity, and then it is in the tangential direction. That means if we take this part, we can apply normal tangential principle, and then it will be in the normal direction, and this one is in the tangential direction. We know that this angle is equal to this angle, and then equivalent to beta. Now, the unknown angle, this one, is now equal to, since the overall angle between this tangential and the normal direction is 90 degree, we know beta and theta, so the remaining part will be that angle. So this angle, if this angle is called as alpha, so alpha will become 90 minus theta minus beta, and then it will become 48.54 degree. Once we get this angle, we can decompose the velocity v into the er direction and then in the theta direction for solving r dot and then theta dot. Now let's do that one now. So velocity in the r direction is equal to v times cos alpha. This implies that the velocity is calculated here and it is 5.4, so it will become 5.4 times cos 
3.54 so it will become 3.58 meter per second and then velocity in the theta direction is equal to v times sine alpha so it will become 5.4 times sine 48.54 so it will become 4.04 meter per second but we know that velocity in the r direction is equal to r dot so r dot will become velocity in the r direction that means it will be 3.58 meter per second this is our answer for one required parameter r dot and then the other one we know that velocity in the theta direction is equal to r times theta dot this implies that theta dot is equal to v theta over r which is equal to 4.04 .04 divided with r is now 0 0.2 to 6 7 if we convert it into the meter so finally it will become 17.86 rad per second this is the next required parameter theta dot now let's evaluate for the theta double dot and then r double dot for the polar coordinate system we know that the acceleration is equal to acceleration in the r direction ar times er plus a theta in the e theta direction that means the acceleration in the r and then the acceleration in the theta direction will be given here so which is equivalent to r double dot minus r theta dot the whole square in the er direction plus acceleration in the theta direction is equal to r double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot in the e theta direction this implies that a r is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot the whole square if we rearrange this one we can calculate r double dot so r double dot is equal to a r plus r theta dot squared this is one equation for solving r double dot and then we know that a theta is equal to r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot if we rearrange this one theta double dot will become a theta minus 2 times r dot theta dot over r so this is additional equation for solving theta double dot let's say this one the first one as equation one and second one as equation two but for evaluating this parameters first we have to evaluate a r and then a theta how we could solve that one to solve this parameters first we have to know about the accelerations of the particle a with respect to its own paths the circular paths is like this one and then from the horizontal we know that it is angle beta and then perpendicular to this one we have a tangential direction and then the velocity is always tangent to that curve and then we know that this angle will become beta and at the same time this angle where theta and then this angle will become also theta and then this way alpha and then we know all those parameters from the previous calculation now we know that since the velocity is constant along the tangential direction there may not be any acceleration in that tangential direction so the only accelerations will be in the normal direction and then we know that the normal acceleration is always 
toward the centers of the curvature and then it will become positive in this direction. That means acceleration in the normal direction will become v square over rho. In this case, we know the velocity is 5.4 squared and then radius is from A up to C and then it is given as 90 millimeter or if we convert that one it will be 0 0.09 meter and then finally the normal acceleration can be 324 meter per second square in the other way the only acceleration is normal acceleration so acceleration the tangential acceleration is zero that means the total acceleration is equal to the summations of the two but since the tangential acceleration is zero the total acceleration will be equal to the normal acceleration and then it's equal to 324 meter per second squared once we have this we can decompose this acceleration into the er direction and then at the same time in the e theta direction and then we can evaluate acceleration in the er and acceleration in the theta direction now this is the acceleration a and acceleration in the ar direction will be in this way and then acceleration in the theta direction will be in the negative of e theta direction because the angle between this acceleration and then the direction theta here is wider so it will be in the negative way that means acceleration in the r direction is equal to a times cos this two angles. That means beta plus theta. Because we want to decamper this acceleration into this axis. And then it will become the acceleration is 3 24 times cos beta is 30 and theta is 11.46 and then when I substitute this numerical values into 1 then we'll get 242.8 meter per second squared this is the acceleration in the ER direction and then acceleration in the theta direction is negative of a times since they are perpendicular to each other that means instead of cos we can use sine beta plus theta then it will become 324 sine 30 plus 11.46 and then it will become it is a negative it will become negative 214.5 meter per second squared now we are approaching to our solution that means we know that a r and then a theta so we could evaluate r double dot and theta double dot from equation one we know that r double dot is equals to a r plus r theta dot squared so by substituting the numerical values we could get that two 42.8 plus 0 0.2267 times theta dot is 17.86 the whole square so once we put the numerical values and it become 315.1 meter per second squared this is our additional solution for r dot from the required part this is answer and then the other one for evaluating theta double dot we can use the second equation and then it said that a theta minus 2 r dot theta dot divided with r putting the numerical values into this one that means a theta is negative 214.5 minus 2 times r dot is 3.58 times and then theta dot is 17.86 
divided with r, which is 0 0.2267. We could get that theta double dot is equals to negative 1510 rad per second squared. This is our final answer.